All right, welcome back. All right, real quick video. I took uh, these leg bolts, quarter inch by two and a half, put a lock washer and a flat washer on them. Put one every between all the boards, you can see them. Then I did that up there too, all around. And then, uh, so yeah, there, you know, right between the 16 on center. Then I used a two by four on each side of the door frame so it's good and strong. Those are those knee walls that I made. They come out here. And then I tucked the um, paneling underneath there, underneath that drip edge. So now the green will come down and come over the top of it. But yeah. So anyway. You can kind of see what I did. Took a chalk line and chalked it off every 16 inches. And when I put those knee walls in, then I put a mark on the aluminum, and a mark on the bottom. Then I just took a chalk line and made the chalk line marks. So that way, I could screw it all together. And then the next step will be finish doing some caulking work on it. I'm gonna, sorry about this. Then I made these new ones. Hmm, plates. I'm gonna cover up the corners here. Yeah. So, and that'll clean that up really nice. And so I made four of them. And then I want to run some caulking on the corners yet. You know, I've been caulking underneath. Cock jobs kind of sucks, but. And then, I'm gonna use Rust Oleum Tractor Implement Paint. And I'm gonna paint the. Paint it all with that. But the large gaps I used the pond and stone, because it's waterproof. That other stuff, you know, that's yellow. That stuff absorbs moisture after a while. Just to deflect it. And I use caulking, you know, for uh, the other corners. And I'm going to go over everything with this now. And then I'm going to paint it with that. So, kind of a fast little video, but... Well, we'll go back out here again. This is, a, I know it's kind of a fast video. I apologize for that, but we'll walk around a little bit here again. But yeah, that, what was nice about that vertical siding was that, uh, I suppose I don't have a piece handy. But when you use that straight edge vertical siding, it's got a little lip that locks in. And then when and it's supposed to stand this way, but I tipped it. Because this is only like 45 inches total. So I only used four, four sheets of it. It was kind of nice with the jam, joints that overlap. They tucked up way up in here. So that rain, when it comes down, if I got this all cocked up, it's all gonna just kind of go down and drip off. The door, I'm gonna have to replace that, I think. Door's kind of just junk. But again, then, on the inside, what it is, I put up those knee walls that we built. Then I went to work and I wrapped this whole thing with plastic on the outside, stapled it, you know. And then uh, that's just a piece that then 
quite go over, but I overlapped them. But anyway, and then I pre-drilled the holes with 3 16 bit, and it went through that aluminum channel and right into the wood. So that wall is sturdy. That ain't going nowhere. And again, I used those leg bolts, and then by the door area here, you know, oh yeah, and I peel 200 all the all the joints when I screwed them together, so we had extra, you know, and I think I explained that in that prior video. And I left these in here. I had a little extra support, what the heck, ain't gonna hurt nobody now. But I wish I had a better video here I could show you. So yeah, and then I, like I say, I pre all the holes. Use that, eighth inch drill bit. Pre-drilled everything, so nothing to crack. And you can see how nice it all turned out. And this thing is tough, you know? So, the secret is to start with a good one. But anyway, like and subscribe if you can. Um, again, I apologize for the video. But this should give you a rough guess on what's going on. This thing's actually turned out really nice. But have a good day. The door seals up for crap. And that door's got to go bye-bye. So, a little bit of a quick... Quick gander at it. I don't know if you can see it.